Tomo News presents Record Breakers. Man claiming to be the world's oldest finally dies. On April 30th, 2017, an Indonesian man who may have been the oldest known person to have ever lived passed away at his home in central Java. He is thought to have been 146 years old. He was Sodi Mejo Gotho, known to his family as Grandpa Gotho. His national ID card, the kind every Indonesian citizen carries, states Gotho's birth as December 31st, 1870. However, official Indonesian birth records only go back to 1900, so there's some controversy over the family's claim that he reached 146 years. Still, the Indonesian government says additional documents and earlier interviews with Gotho have satisfied them that his birth date is accurate. If an additional independent source is found to verify the Gotho family's claim, Grandad may be able to posthumously cement his status as the oldest human to have ever lived with a Guinness World Record entry. Record holder or not, Gotho certainly was old. He was also a lifelong chain smoker and much loved in his town as a master storyteller, often regaling people with tales of battles against Dutch and Japanese colonizers. Grandpa Gotho's long life saw him married four times and sire many, many children. He outlived them all. In his twilight years, he lived with his great-grandchildren. In an interview with the Jakarta Post in 2016, Gotho claimed the key to his longevity was patience. But even patience inevitably runs out. And on April 12th, Gotho was taken to the hospital where he remained for six days. He returned home, but his health never fully recovered. Twelve days later, he passed away, surrounded by friends and family. If his age is verified, Gotho will snatch the longevity crown from French woman Jean Clemet, who lived to be 122 years old. A Kansas City water park company is in the midst of building what is being called the world's tallest and fastest water slide. The Verrucht Mega Blaster is expected to shatter the current record for height held by the 164-foot high Kilimanjaro in Barra de Parai, Brazil. Verrucht means insane in German, and the slide, which is scheduled to debut in May next year, is definitely not for the faint of heart. Adventurous souls must climb the agonizing 264 steps to reach the slide's staggering 17-story tall top. Four-person rafts next send them hurtling back down to earth at a minimum speed of 65 miles per hour. The ride includes a five-story hump that shoots riders upwards as a climatic finish to what will no doubt become known as a bowel-loosening attraction. Holy mother of pearl! Quite a few Asian countries call themselves the Pearl of the Orient, but never has the Philippines deserved the moniker more than now with the discovery of this huge gem. The monstrous pearl is 67 centimeters long and 30 centimeters wide. It weighs in at a whopping 34 kilograms and is quite possibly the world's biggest natural giant clam pearl. The title is yet to be official, but the current record holder, the Pearl of Lao Tzu, weighs a puny 6.4 kilos. The Filipino pearl also makes other giant pearls look absolutely minuscule. A lucky fisherman found the monstrous pearl in the waters off Palawan a decade ago, discovering it inside a giant clam that got stuck on his boat's anchor. He had no idea how much it was worth and just kept it under his bed as a good luck charm. The pearl is reportedly valued at $100 million. If the fisherman had known, he probably wouldn't have turned it over to the city tourism office for safekeeping. Oh well, too late now. The world's oldest living conjoined twins are set to break the age record on their 63rd birthday. Happy, very happy, happy and very stoked. Let's meet the 62-year-old brothers, Donnie and Ronnie Gallian, who are preparing to celebrate a massive milestone. This October, they'll have their 63rd birthday. So for have a male of their type of twins to survive this long, it, it's unheard of. The Galleon brothers are the oldest living set of conjoined twins in the world. They've already lived longer than the second oldest conjoined twins in history, Thai brothers Chang and Ang Bunker, who died at 62 years old in 1874. And they are fast approaching the record held by Italian brothers Giacomo and Giovanni Battista Tocchi. Dr. Glenn Quaite, who has been observing the pair for two decades, was also surprised by the chemistry between the pair. You know, I, I remember the first time I saw him, the thing that mo amazed me most was tying a shoe. So Ronnie's left hand and Donnie's right hand would tie a shoe. And that, just that ability to coordinate is amazing. 
When walking, the bros have to take turn going backwards. For more than six decades, Donnie and Ronnie have faced challenges dealing with everyday tasks, forcing them to perfect the art of physical cooperation and compromise in all aspects of life. It wasn't easy for them to achieve the balance they have today. The Galleons were born in Dayton, Ohio on October 28, 1951. They were joined from the sternum to the groin and shared a single set of male organs. When their parents, Mr. and Mrs. Wesley Gallion, were informed that one of their twins might die during the separation operation, the couple determined that they would never separate the brothers. The twins started their rock star lifestyle at the age of four. They performed magic tricks at carnival sideshows in the U.S. and circuses throughout Central and South America. It also allowed them to give back to their parents and support their family of 11. They retired in 1991 at age 39. Inevitably, the duo occasionally fight over tiny things, such as which TV channel they want to watch, but they still share some hobbies too. They're living life. They're going out watching the football games, the baseball games, being part of the neighborhood again. In 2010, they moved in with their younger brother Jim after Ronnie suffered from a viral infection which caused blood clots in his lungs. However, the twins are expected to make it into the Guinness Book of World Records when they become the world's longest living conjoined twins upon turning 63 in October. It's fantastic! Seattle Seahawks fans are again the noisiest crowd in the world after breaking the Guinness World Record crowd roar on Monday Night Football against the New Orleans Saints. Saints fans got a taste firsthand of just how loud Seahawks fans can get during Monday night's game as Seattle crushed New Orleans 34-7. Fans went so crazy that they jumped up and down enough during Michael Bennett's 22-yard fumble recovery to register a magnitude 1 or 2 earthquake. Wonder what that must have felt like on the field. John Lennon's 75th birthday draws thousands into human peace sign. To celebrate the birthday of John Lennon, the smart beetle, more than 2,000 people gathered in New York City's Central Park in an attempt to break the Guinness World Record for the largest human peace sign held consecutively for five minutes. John Lennon's widow, Yoko Ono, co-hosted the event. That this is the best birthday present to John. Thank you. Attendees sang Lennon's hit Give Peace a Chance and held up peace signs to commemorate the singer's legacy, which was cut short when he was murdered 35 years ago. They didn't break the previous record, which had more than 5,800 people stand in a peace sign formation in Ithaca, New York in 2009. The event was held on Tuesday. Lennon would have turned 75 on Friday. But he was shot near Central Park on December 8, 1980. Lennon was co-founder of The Beatles, a British rock band that changed popular music during the 1960s. Thai woman suffering rare disease has enormous hands. Holding a world record isn't always so wonderful. A 59 years old Thai woman named Sama Kasama currently holds a world record for the largest hands. But the distinction has caused her a great amount of pain. A rare disease has made it so her arms won't stop growing. Each arm now weighs about 20 pounds. It hurts like hell whenever she tries to move them. Sama Kasama has been suffering from the disease since her 20s. She's undergone surgery after surgery, but nothing has been successful. The doctors have been unable to identify the cause of her disease. They have suggested amputating to end her pain, but she says she does not want to lose her hands. Sama Kasama is currently making a living as a thrift shop owner. Balloonists break world distance record during Trans-Pacific Journey. Two balloonists, Troy Bradley, an American, and Leonid Tukatayev, a Russian, have surpassed the world distance record for gas balloon travel. Bradley and Tukatayev's helium-filled air balloon, the Two Eagles, is different from hot air balloons as it relies on an enclosed chamber of gas for lift. The two set out from Japan last Sunday morning and began their journey across the Pacific Ocean. The men subsist on freeze-dried hiker's meals, fresh fruit, and beef jerky, and have a small heater to protect them from the cold. Sandbags and other forms of ballast are used to control the balloon's ascent and descent. The men have oxygen gas masks to wear at high altitudes. The men originally planned to land in Canada, but wind blew two eagles on a path towards Baja, California instead. The men are hoping to land on sand dunes in the Mexican peninsula by Saturday. 
Bradley and Tukatayev broke the world distance record for human flight in a gas balloon several hundred miles away from San Francisco, and are now set to also break the record for the longest duration flight in a gas balloon. Sony's 185 terabyte cassette tape sets new storage record. Sony's breakthrough cassette tape can store around 60 million three-minute songs, which is more than anyone can listen to in a lifetime, even if played non-stop. Announced last week, Sony's new tape stores up to 185 terabytes of data. Tape media storage technology involves transferring magnetic particles to polymer film in a process known as sputtering. Maximizing particle deposition density is key to increasing storage. Roughness in the tape's underlayer in existing technologies causes the magnetic crystals to be deposited irregularly. Sony has developed an underlayer with a smooth interface, which minimizes disparities in crystal placement and size. The new technology produces magnetic layers composed of tightly packed particles with an average size of 7.7 .7 nanometers, compared to an average of several tens of nanometers in existing technologies. In 1963, Philips Electronics introduced the first compact cassette, which is able to record between 30 to 45 minutes of sound on each side. Cassette tapes grew in popularity when Sony's Walkman came on the market in 1979, but saw a significant decline in use with the advent of the CD, downloadable music and the iPod. Since a cassette takes much longer to read and write data than digital storage, Sony's new cassette will likely be used to back up entire databases and not to store or play music. A record-breaking 1,323-pound Mako shark was caught in California during the recording of a TV show. The friends were off the coast of Huntington Beach when they went fishing for the Mako sharks. They got more than they bargained for when the 1,300-pounder took the bait. A two-and-a-half long-hour battle ensued and the fishermen struggled, but they eventually got their catch. The 1,323-pound fish is one of the largest fish ever caught on record.